Almost everything we do online nowadays includes companies gathering personal information about us. Personal data is usually collected and used for many reasons. Our personal data comes through social media, online shopping, and searching online. Sometimes the information collected from you can come from one company. It is then shared or sold to another. Data collection can offer benefits to both you and the company. For example, connecting with friends, getting directions, or sales promotions. It is also used in many ways that are intrusive, unless we take control. The good news is there are ways you can protect your personal data and control how it's shared and used. I've got five tips you can follow to better protect your privacy when online. Sharing less online. The best step you could take to protect your privacy online from companies is to share less. Social networks are a great starting point. Take extra caution with photos of yourself or your loved ones, geotagged postings, or other information you don't want outsiders to know about. Aside from social media sites, particularly all applications collect information about your activities, and they seldom secure your data as thoughtfully as you would expect. Every few months, another company's abuse of privacy makes news. All these shares and data points make up your online footprint. Here are a few methods for reducing internet oversharing. Share less on forms. Create a throwaway email address. Limit corroborating folders, albums, or playlists. Protect your Wi Fi password. Tighten privacy settings. The second and arguably simplest step is to simply examine the privacy settings on the internet accounts you use often. Companies make millions, if not billions, of dollars by gathering your personal information. In general, their default settings favor data collection above data protection. The ideal settings for you are determined by what you want to share and what you want to keep private. Yet, there are a few instances where you should use caution. 1. Tracking your location. Consider disabling automatic geolocation data on social media posts, images, and comments. 2. It is public knowledge. Consider if information should be made public, concealed, or someplace in between. Data is often organized into three levels. Profile data, content, and interactions with other material. Three, comments, likes, and shares. We normally consider how much we share, but your likes and comments on other people's postings are frequently public as well, even with private accounts. Profile images, names, and comments on other postings frequently appear in search results. Stop search engines from tracking you. Your search engine gathers a large quantity of personal information about you. Google is the search engine of choice for 92% of users. Google and Bing, the proprietors of the two major search engines, also manage the popular browsers Chrome and Edge, respectfully. As a result, they collect a lot of data. The first step towards better search engine privacy is to delete your data. To erase everything on Google, go to the My Activity dashboard. For Microsoft, you'll need to remove data from Microsoft Edge and Bing individually. You can erase data from Yahoo's search history management. Unfortunately, there is no method to disable all Google tracking. Another option is to use an online privacy-focused search engine like DuckDuckGo. Disable ad and data tracking. Much of your personal data obtained online is used for marketing rather than scams or data breaches. Many of these trackers may be disabled with a few easy actions. To begin, if a pop-up asks if you want to exchange data, answer no. Decline cookies on websites whenever feasible. You may prevent cross-app tracking on an iPhone or other Apple mobile devices running iOS 14.5 or later. Finally, 
you may turn off ad personalization across all applications, including Google Search, other Google services, Apple, Facebook ad settings, third parties that utilize Facebook data, Twitter, Microsoft, and Amazon. Thousands of smaller websites utilize tracking as well, but by blocking these major organizations, the worst offenders will be eliminated. Browse online with a secure VPN. Your web browsers such as Google Chrome, Firefox, or Safari may also record information about your online activity. To begin, consider closing your browser, then to boost privacy and security, install a few browser extensions. HTTPS Everywhere requires encrypted connections on supported sites, assists on the concealment of sensitive data, such as credit card details on your Wi-Fi network. Sites cannot monitor you if you use ad blockers or tracking blockers. Using a secure VPN may encrypt your surfing data, rendering it unreadable. If you must access public Wi-Fi, such as in coffee shops or airports, you must utilize a VPN. Keep in mind that there are several risks to accessing public or unprotected Wi-Fi networks. You may also utilize private or incognito mode. However, this is less safe than you may believe. Your internet service provider, ISP, continues to keep track of your browser history and websites can gather comprehensive information about your machine, including your IP addresses. Finally, choose an alternative browser, such as Brave. It is an additional step towards guaranteeing online privacy. Tor is the safest browsing choice since it masks your location and history across many levels. Tor provides a slower surfing experience, yet unparalleled privacy. We hope you have found this video helpful. I am sure I've missed out on a few recommendations that you would consider more important than I did. These five were what I thought of. This video was important to raise awareness of solutions to privacy problems. If you would like to see more of these types of videos, please let me know. Until the next time, take care of yourself.